In this video, we're gonna to test to see if a toast message is in view after some action takes place in the UI. So we're gonna use Espresso and Android X to test this. And for those of you who haven't been following along with the course, this video is actually part of a uh, full length course, which I'll actually bring up on my screen here. So if you go to codingpitch.com, this is a completely free course for those of you who wanna learn how to write UI tests for Android using Kotlin, uh, Espresso, Android X, and Mockito. Uh, just go to my website, go to courses, you can click here, you just got to register on my website, it takes 30 seconds and you can watch it completely free. It's also on YouTube and there'll be, uh, obviously you're watching this uh, on YouTube if, if you're not seeing it on my website. So uh, there'll be links to a playlist or go to my website and watch the rest of the course. So in this, uh, in this particular video, we are going to be testing toast messages, as I said. So I'm going to launch a dialogue. Inside of this dialogue, it'll capture some input. It says, enter your name, entering my name. When I click OK, a toast message will be printed at the bottom of the, of the device that says, your name is Mitch. So it's a set message that is going to be the same every time, dependent on whatever the, uh, whatever the name is here that you enter. So click OK. Your name is name, obviously, because I've entered name up there. So that is the app that we're gonna be testing. We're gonna be building a custom toast matcher to make sure that a toast message is actually visible in the UI because by default, this thing doesn't exist. I don't know why, because it's such a common thing to have toast messages displayed. I think it's kind of strange that this this doesn't just exist by default. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at the code. So for those of you who have been following along with the course, you know that in the previous video, we tested dialogue. So a dialogue coming into view, capturing some input, and then making sure that that input was uh, sent back to the activity where it's set. So this, this is the, the same code that you left off with in the previous video. And for those of you who are just coming into this video, you haven't watched any of the other ones, there's a link in the description to get to the source code. You're gonna to wanna to check out this project from version control and select the branch Simple Toast. So just look for this branch right here, Simple Toast. Notice I have it selected and uh, you'll be looking at exactly what we're looking at right here. So, uh, so carrying on from the previous test where we tested, you know, launching the dialogue, entering some name, capturing an input, clicking OK, then making sure that that text was set up here. We need, we're taking this a step further now and we need a custom matcher to make sure that that toast is in view and then uh, that a certain text is actually set to that toast. So I'm going to, before we can do any kind of... Um, any kind of assertions down here or anything, we need to build that custom matcher. So before I uh, before I build this class, I wanna mention that uh, the matcher that I'm building, I did not create myself. I found this on a blog post. There will be a, a link in the in the code, in the source code to this blog post. You can go check this out. Uh, this nice lady here who wrote this blog post uh, wrote this toast matcher right here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna be pretty much just copying this word for word. I, you know, she built it already. I, there's no point in me me building it one more time. Um, so I'm I'm literally just gonna copy this and then we're gonna talk about it in the code. So you can copy this if you want, but I'm I'm using Kotlin. I'm not using Java, and this doesn't convert well for whatever reason. I tried to copy paste this in before and it didn't convert well. So I'm actually gonna be going to the source code for the project. So there'll be a link in the des description again. And that'll take you to the um, the source code for this video. And I'm just going to copy the the matcher from there. So going into the Android test directory, clicking on uh, Toast Matcher here, and then I'm going to copy all of this. Now I'm going back to Android Studio. I'm going to right click on the main package directory inside of Android Test, and this is going to be called Toast Matcher. Now I'm going to select all and paste that in. So there's a notice there's a comment up here that says that I was not the author of this. I didn't write this. So if you want to uh, go tell the author that she did a great job, go and check that out. So all this is is a uh, it's a type safe matcher. And for those of you who've been watching the course, you know that in the camera intent video when we tested the camera intent, taking a picture and then testing the drawable if it was visible, we used a something called a bounded matcher. So you might be wondering why I used a type safe matcher here. I use a type safe matcher because it only requires one parameter. The bounded the bounded matcher does an extra check behind the scenes. It checks to make sure that the uh, the view type is the right uh, is of the correct type inside of the matches safely. So it does some extra checks for you. This one we don't need to do any extra checks. We're just 
checking the single root view and then making sure if there is a toast message and then doing some uh, logic down here which i'm going to talk about so basically the type safe matcher is like the simpler version it doesn't do as as much and then the bounded matcher does does more um, now if you want to know more about bounded matchers type safe matchers building custom matchers in general let me know in the comments below because it's kind of a whole separate topic like you could go deep into that how to build them which which to use you know bounded matcher matcher type safe matcher all that kind of stuff so let me know in the comments below if you're curious and like always if there's enough demand then i will make videos on it so let's carry on here so describe two is obviously just for what for debugging it, it describes what that uh, that test is doing what that thing is testing and then of course matches safely is the actual logic so this is what uh, will determine whether the test passes or not so what happens here is she gets the type of the uh, item so the what what is being displayed in the view if the type matches the type of toast which seems to be deprecated now i don't actually know what the replacement for that is but i know it works so i'm going to use it and then down here uh, it's checking to see if the window token uh, it matches with this thing called the app token. So I didn't, I wasn't sure about this myself. So I actually had to do a little bit of research. So if you look at get application window token, it says it retrieves a unique token identifying the top level real window of the window that that this view is attached to. So uh, it's similar to get window token, except that the window is in the window this view is in except if the window this view in is a panel window, so attached to another containing window. Then the token of the containing window is returned instead. And then the get window token is it retrieves a unique token identifying the window this view is attached to. So I guess it's uh, determining whether or not the there's a panel in front blocking the view of the toast. I think that's that's generally what's what's happening here. So if those two things are the same, then we return true because we know that the toast is in the only window that is currently visible. So first checking if it's a toast and then checking to see if that toast is actually in the window that's visible. All right, so that's the matcher. Now let's go into main activity test and write the test for whether or not that toast is in view. So I'll write a comment test if toast is displayed. So what we're gonna do here is write on view with text and we're gonna check to see if that toast, if that uh, that text is in view. So I'm calling a function here called build toast message and I'm passing the expected name. So this build toast message function is in main activity. If you go down to the very bottom, you can see a companion object and there's a single function inside the companion object called build toast message. And this will build the message that's displayed in the toast. So you can see here, once the dialog returns, it calls show toast and then it calls build the toast message and then passes the name. So it builds, it. Basically what this is ensuring is it is it is it's ensuring that the exact same format is going to be shown in the toast no matter what. Like uh, for example, I could have easily just hard coded this in like I could have said, you know, uh, your name is name and then but if I did that, that would mean that inside of the test, so if I go into main activity test, I would have had to do the same thing. I would have had to hard code that in and I would have had to pass the name parameter. So a much more um, I guess seamless way to do this and to ensure that no matter what that that structure is the same it kind of protects you from having spelling mistakes like what if i accidentally did uh name i don't know it doesn't matter you spelled this wrong two e's whatever you you did it would cause the test to fail obviously and you would have to debug that but if you call a function that defines what the behavior is then you know that um your chance of error is is smaller because it's always going to be set the same way so calling that function, uh, checking to see if that text is in view. Now we want to call in root. So toast matcher, we're initializing that toast matcher and then calling check if it matches, if it matches is displayed. So finding that text using our toast matcher and then checking if that is displayed. So that's gonna be our test. Let's go up to the top, right click, run that and let's see if this passes. And I'll drag the application on the screen here so we can see it running. So the application is launching, there's the dialogue, entering the name, there's the toast down there coming up. So everything is working as we expect. All right, so again, um, you know, I didn't, uh, I don't wanna take credit for this. This is the person who wrote this toast matcher. So if you wanna uh, give her a shout out or anything like that, definitely do that because she built this. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully that helps. Uh, 
toasts are used, you know, very widely in all applications. I, I think it'd be very rare if, if an application didn't have a toast at some point. So this is definitely something you want to learn.